The motor effect is the phenomenon whereby a current carrying conductor placed in a permanent external magnetic field experiences a magnetic force and we know that a magnetic field or the magnetic field lines are always directed from north to south and so we can draw those in and we can illustrate the motor effect by showing that a current carrying conductor that is carrying current out of the board which is obviously illustrated with a dot that represents conventional current moving out of the board we know would have a magnetic field surrounding it because of the changing electric field within that conductor as a result we have a magnetic field surrounding it and perpendicular to it and we can determine the direction of that magnetic field using the right hand wire rule which tells us that the magnetic field is directed in a counterclockwise direction around that current carrying conductor and now what we can see is we can see that beneath this wire we can see that the external magnetic field interferes constructively with the magnetic field surrounding the wire which results in a stronger magnetic field below the wire because we know those both magnetic fields acting in the same direction would result in a stronger magnetic field and at the same time above the wire we can see that the magnetic field around the wire is in the opposite direction to that of the external magnet and as a result there is no resultant magnetic field below the wire. Now what we can see here is that when there is a very strong magnetic field beneath the wire and no magnetic field above it we would create a force that exists upward on that wire that is sometimes referred to as the Lorentz force. Now we can also use Fleming's left hand motor rule to determine this direction. The left hand motor rule is used with our fingers placed perpendicular to each other where our thumb represents the force, our index finger represents the magnetic field and our middle finger represents the current and so what we can do is we can point our index finger in the direction of the magnetic field, our middle finger in the direction of the current and our thumb shows us that the force on this conductor is then upwards. It can then be seen that a conductor that is carrying current into the board would experience a force downward and this is as you can see why it is called the motor effect because what we have is if these two are one and the same conductor one carrying current into the board and one carrying current out of the board we would create a turning motion which is the principle on which all electric motors operate.